Hello, hello, hello. Autoimmune Prepper here. I'm taking you guys out on a quick road. Well, a quick trip to the gas station. If you are new to my channel, let me say welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you to all the new subscribers. If you are already currently a subscriber, you know the deal. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me. Um, if you're not a subscriber yet and you just stumbled across my channel, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you also hit the notification bell so that way you can see when I do upload new videos. Um, everybody, I encourage you to give the video a thumbs up. That will be greatly appreciated. So here's the deal. Let me share with you. I have done just an absolute, what I know to be a big no-no. Look at this. Gas hand. That's awful. Now, I know better than that. Luckily for me, you see where it says distance to empty? I know how much time I have or how many more miles I can drive before the gas hand is totally through. But you see where it is right now? That looks pretty scary, doesn't it? So here's the deal. What happened on Saturday, I took a trip. It was about a 68 mile each way uh, trip. I had to go get my hair tightened up. And so at the time, my gas hand looked like it was at about uh, half a tank. And again, my distance to empty clearly told me that I had enough gas to get down there and back. But once I made it back home to my area, it would be very low. As you can see, I have only 32 miles. And so, what did I do? I took the lazy route and I decided to go for it and not put any gas in the car until today. Yesterday, Sunday, I drove absolutely nowhere. So that was fine. But today, I have an appointment somewhere. So guess what? I have to gas up but this is not a good time to be gassing up what I should have done when it was at half a tank I should have filled it up before I went on my uh, destination Saturday <clears throat> on the way back home they probably would have brought the gas hand down a little bit and then in a few days I could have refilled once I got all the way back to down to a half a tank of gas so, with the gas prices constantly climbing, let's see how much of a disservice I did to myself by not filling up Saturday once I got back to my area. I, I can't really compare per se because I don't know what the gas price was on Saturday, so I don't know if it uh, has increased or not. Um, since Saturday but in any case uh, a number of things can happen uh, the price could increase or I can get to a gas station and they don't have any gas now wouldn't that be something so uh, angry prepper did a, a good video today uh, talking about gas and um, I have to say, yeah, we have got to be more careful. I've got to be more careful because never do I ever want to be in a position to where I'm on the side of anybody's road needing gas. Ew. And the regular is $5.99 per gallon. Ew. It didn't get you. I was looking at the sign. Then you see back, so I won't show you. Oh, he won't show you anyway. Look at that gas price. Arco. Regular $5.99. Oh my gosh. I 
Unleaded Plus, 619. Unleaded Premium, 629. Um, uh, all those prices are painful. But anyway, I am at the pump. I am going to fill my tank up. It's probably going to cost me a um, probably 70 bucks. And this is a little, this is a Toyota Camry. Goodness gracious. Well, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick video update. I don't want to leave you on hold while I pump this gas. Um, I will put it in my title, how much I actually paid for this gas. So you guys can um, see what that looks like. Anyway, don't do, don't do like me. Don't let your gas hand get down there before you decide to go and get gas because anything could happen. Again, I'm lucky because it tells me how many miles before uh, I'll be completely out of gas. So like, let's say for instance, this gas station didn't have any gas. Uh, I got 31 miles <laughs> to make it to another gas station, which is not far only right up the way but in any case who wants to be dealing with all that so keep your gas uh gas tanks on full um when you get to half a tank i've said it before i need to follow my own advice half a tank refill it up anyway i hope this video has helped have a great day don't forget to wake up start every day with an attitude of gratitude share this video give the video a thumbs up Leave a comment in the comment section. What does gas look like in your area and how often do you fill up your gas tanks? I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.